Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brooklyn Prepper back again. All right, I got my uh, my bike project is done. I got the whole thing hooked up and it's ready to do uh, its maiden voyage. I'm probably gonna run this baby Friday. I videotape and everything. I'll show you. All right, but I got it done. Okay, this project. It's not the easiest project in the world to do, and it's definitely not the hardest project in the world to do. If you take your time, right, and pace yourself, follow your instructions and everything, you'll be fine, right? So it's not intimidating, so it's just, you know, it's a little bit of a pain in the neck here and there, but take your time and you get it done, all right? Don't try to rush through this type of project. You want it all set and nice. You gotta remember, you're putting a motor on a bike, all right? So this is a brief description of what I done. First thing I done, I was I mounted the motor on, like I said in the other video, I with the brackets in the back, right? So once I got the whole motor on, right, and it was nice and tight, I you got a bracket in the front and you got a bracket in the back. So that all worked out fine. All right. The second thing I did was I mounted the sprocket. All right. The sprocket's a little, you know, a little bit pain in the neck, but it, it worked out. All right, so let me show you the other side of the sprocket. All right, it comes with these uh, bushings they give you. It comes with these uh, metal, uh, like half moon uh, clamps here that's going to screw right through the sprocket. Right, you're going to put both bushings. It depends on what bike you have, but my bike, you put both bushings in the back and you tighten this baby up against that uh, the sprocket. So you tighten just this, uh, the rubber bushings are pushing up the spokes against the sprocket. Right? It gives a nice tight fit in there, so uh, it could obviously turn the wheel. All right? So uh, then that way, the third thing I did, well, the third thing I did was write this. The B-O-B. -B. Bug out bike. That's right. <laughs> okay? So that's what, hey, it's a nice emblem, right? I had an artist draw that up for me. He did a good job, right? All right. So the third thing I did, I attached the carburetor, right? You just put it on there, you tighten it down. And you're okay, pretty self-explanatory, right? And then I put the ignition, the ignition coil in here. This is the whole ignition stuff. It's got a blue and a black wire coming off it. You're gonna attach the blue and the black wire that comes off the engine. Very simple. That's all you gotta do. That's it, right? Then it has a cutoff switch on the throttle, which is over here. Here's your throttle. You got a cutoff switch here, right? So your wires come down here. I ran the wires down. I used tie wraps. Very important, you want tie wraps. They work great because you want to make everything nice and neat. All right? I like making things neat. All right? I came down off the ignition. I attached the yellow wire off the ignition. I spliced it with the white wire coming off the engine. Then there's a green wire off the, uh, the cutoff switch right? that comes off. What I did, let me see if I can show it to you. What I did, I, I, mount, I put a self-tapping screw and just wrap the wire around it to make the ground. You want to ground that green wire from the cutoff switch to the frame. So the yellow wire from the cutoff switch goes right to the white wire from the engine and the green wire goes to the frame. All right, simple as that. It says it in the instructions. All right, you follow the instructions, you, you'll be okay. All right, came with a throttle kit. I put the throttle in there. I ran all my cables down with tie wraps. I kept my bell. Nah, I wasn't gonna let that baby go. All right, comes with a, a choke. This is to choke your engine before you, when you got a cold start going on. All right. And, and this is the, uh, your clutch uh, handle, right? So when you pull this in, right, let me see, you pull it in, you lock it in, right? Now the bike could, you could pedal. You could ride freely once that thing is in. So as you're riding and you're pedaling, you get to a certain speed, you just let that out and they engage the engine. And then the, uh, the clutch will grab on the engine and you're ready to go. All right, so you have the clutch, the clutch handle up here is attached to this uh, clutch rod. See, it goes in, right? You just gotta run the cables, tighten them up. Like I said, it's not a really hard, hard project. You just take your time to get it done, right? The chain, you know, on whatever bike you have, you might have to cut the chain down. I had to cut a few links out of this one. If you don't know how to cut links out of a chain, I'm sure you know somebody that does, right? And this thing is very important. This is the, the chain guide, right? Which you, once you get your chain on there, you could adjust this up and down, right? To make the chain tighter, all right? And plus it lets the chain flow onto the sprocket nicely, 
right? So it gives it a little bit of a dip and keeps that in there tight. All right. Uh, and that's about it. That's, you know, it wasn't a real hard project and, you know, it wasn't, surely wasn't the easiest, but uh, my opinion, anybody could really do it. You know, just take your time, follow the instructions. All right. And what I, it, it comes with instructions like right here. Let me show you. You got these instructions here, but the copies they send you is just printed copy, right? And the, the pictures ain't really that good. It's like really washed out. So what I did, you go online to the website, and uh, I got this motor from gasbike.net. It's gasbike.net. That's why I picked this motor up. You go on their website, and they have they have the whole instructions in colored pictures, and they're a lot more and they're clearer. All right. So that was that. So. I can't wait to ride it. I just wanted to give you guys a small little update on there. And there it is. The cruiser is going to be ready to go Friday. I'm going to put some gas. Man, I'm going to be riding like a maniac, like one of those motorcycle guys. All right, so that's that. All right. A little update on my back carrier. Here I go. I got it all ready, right? I still got to do some modifications to it. But the, that's the back carrier. Let me see if you get a good picture of that. I got the two wheels in the front, the single wheel in the back. I got the part to hook everything up right over there. And that's going to hook up to the back of the bike off the frame. All right? That's going to sit right behind the bike, and I'm able to put some stuff in there and pull it. You know, it moves really freely, right? So, you know, I wouldn't say I could fill it up with tons of heavy stuff, but uh, it does a trick. So it's, I picked this little toolbox thing up for 25 bucks I paid for it. I put a piece of wood on the bottom to give it some more support, right? The only thing I'm going to have to do here with this, uh, the back wheel, that little, uh, the piece that comes through here, I'm going to cut it down. I'm going to cut this completely off and put a threaded rod on there so I can bolt it down from the bottom and the top. You now I've had some screws through the front over here. And it's pretty solid. It's a pretty solid piece, you know? So I guess, you know, I put a tent in there, your, your wood gas stove in there, some extra food. Whatever you want to put in there, you, you can just drag it behind the bike. Um, hopefully it works out good. I'll find out soon. All right, so that's my update, guys. And uh, Friday I'm going to make my big video of this thing going. <laughs> All right? So wish me luck, and i see you guys later. And uh, live for today. Prep for tomorrow, guys. See you later.